Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Hannah, as you already know, uh, and this is my boyfriend Jack. And we are going to be doing a breakdown of a 1988 movie called Black Eagle, starring one of my favourite people, Jean-Claude Van Damme. And yeah, we're going to be breaking down the film. There's going to be more of these coming up, so any more films that you want us to have a look at, please recommend down in the comments. Brief synopsis of this silly film. Uh, it doesn't sound silly, but you're going to see why it is. Um, a plane has gone down in the Mediterranean that is carrying a very uh, dangerous weapon and the US have sent in a special agent to retrieve it. Sounds simple enough, but they managed to truly screw it up. So stay tuned guys and uh, enjoy. Uh, Imperial Entertainment, a entertainment company that everyone's definitely heard of. Funded by Malta <laughs> Council. <laughs> oh, it doesn't actually say that, though, does it? Air yeah, Malta. <laughs> Instantly just advert like they're talking about as if they are in a n nuclear base or in a, on a in a military base But it's just stock footage of air malta planes <laughs> doing really normal air malta stuff laps. Just yeah, just landing being really efficient the baggage just being handled. Well, yeah, yeah, everyone's it being really polite. could just be an air malta advert just a lovely shot of yeah. Valletta the Maltese capital, yeah, beautiful. the cars are all driving correctly, yeah. no one's breaking any laws, yeah. another shot of how beautiful yeah. the letter is. Also like the the voiceovers just of a plane going down, but yeah. you don't get to see the plane going down because that would cost and too much money. And it doesn't sound frantic enough. <laughs> there was no pe peril in that voice, it like, we're going down, it was like, we're going down. This is Ken Tani, actually played by a Japanese martial artist. Look at this beautiful scenery. Of course it's beautiful scenery, he's in Malta. <laughs> it's supposed to be Afghanistan. The more they never that easy. The place is crawling with spies from every country in the world. It's crawling with spies. From every country in the world? I, I doubt it. I think everyone yeah. would notice all these guys yeah, yeah. walking around like, like Sending you on a dangerous mission, we sent your kids. Glamour shot of Malta. Why did they send his kids to before Malta. him to this dangerous mission? Yeah, exactly. He's the priest, isn't he? He's the priest slash oceanographer, which is not a thing that's combined. I feel like they just had a priest outfit. <laughs> they owned they owned a Catholic priest outfit. Yeah, yeah. Why is the Maltese Tower America? The Maltese Air Traffic <laughs> Control Tower. Because they're full of spies from all over the world. Uh, I like that filmed. earlier they were like, you need to be conspicuous, your kids have checked in and you checked in yesterday. And he's like, okay, I'll arrive by parachute. <laughs> yeah, just arrive normally. <laughs> Your kids are literally checked Don't in under your name. The sea. Yeah, this actually makes no. If this is Ken Tani, yes, it, it is. is. <laughs> you're checked in. Your kids, <laughs> your, in your kids were checked in yesterday. You're checked in to arrive tomorrow. So to be inconspicuous. So and don't. And look, alert it's not. Patrol. It's not even like him. Sky Dogman has done nothing. This no. woman in a field can see him, the and police. now they're calling the police. <laughs> so it would have been way easier if he just arrived normally. Normally, like a normal man. Another sweeping shot of a letter. Yeah, this is lovely. I want to go. I've been to Malta. It's fine. Did you find there were a lot of spies? And there were zero spies. Here's <laughs> the giving you actual history about the letter. <laughs> An actual historical tour about yeah. the letter. The tour is almost over when we step outside. But it's been very informative and really great about all the historical <laughs> features of Malta. There are so many things to learn about Malta. <laughs> we should come back here. Yes, we should. <laughs> <laughs> Brian's dead pandaneering. Yeah, Danny's really good. <laughs> They're quite convincing because that's what a 12 year old would Danny's be like. Really Both cool. of their shorts. Really cool. So sick. And his t shirt's so mm. sick. You know, all I'm focusing on is how high all the other men's trousers are. Yeah, everyone's trousers are quite high. Also, couldn't they have made him look a little bit more like a secret agent? They've made him look like an accountant. <laughs> there we go. Oh. If you'd just arrived by plane like a normal fucking person, or if that plane you were in had just landed, <laughs> the police wouldn't now be involved. Over the sea. You, Land in that fucking ladies' field, cut out the boat, you'd be in it as much trouble. Yeah. A lot of the other acting isn't that bad. No, though. it's not. Like it's passable. It's not great. No, but, but like, do, I'm do, not do, do, but it. Show it's Kasuga bad. slash Ken Tani, bless him, his acting is just so wooden. <laughs> oh! <laughs> first splits. The, the first video. splits. Drink, oh, drink, drink, splits. <laughs> splits and knife throwing. Oh there should God. be a double drink. And he speed oiled. <laughs> Why are swim shorts so high? Oh my god, why are you wearing tiny yeah, speedos? Yeah, yeah, this outfit. <laughs> Unacceptable. I can see his entire dick. <laughs> I can see his dick. 
Do you reckon this was deliberate because they were like, we want him to be sexualised? <laughs> I mean, it's not worked. Given, given, <laughs> given that we didn't recognise either production company as having ever done another film, no. do you reckon one of them is his production company? Oh my god. And so this is his vehicle literally paid for by him, and then the other production company is Maltese. just the Maltese Tourism Board. Maltese tourism. Ma the Maltese government. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard about Japanese pro divers who can lower their, lower their heartbeat. Tell me about it sometime. Doesn't make sense. <laughs> cool Not a cool line. <laughs> I love that. There's this romance. Is he hitting on her? Yeah, he is. You've been on That's one of his only lines. Is it I do now. I do now. Ooh. Oh, beige. Oh, you got the green light, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Zero chemistry. You know he's constantly doing this face. Look. I can't fuck the subtitles are on. Excuse me, excuse me. Excuse me, excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Also, this is definitely them. Right, you're in the area looking for a down jet. These guys are an American yeah. couple looking for a jet and a big. And you know one of them is a priest from <laughs> Rewind. Right. It's saying hand grenade, but he says hand grenade. He does hand not say grenade. <laughs> this beach is so great. Full of activities for the kids. And so clean. <laughs> Parking was free. Whoa! Oh. I mean, that wasn't a backflip, but it was almost. Oh, that's pretty sick. I love this little backflip lesson in the middle of the film. I'm just going to slow things down for a backflip lesson. Black Eagle. Yeah, did yeah. they ever say Black Eagle? Again? Yeah, yeah, he's yeah, he's talking about the Black Eagle. You have to make it make sense for yourself. <laughs> it doesn't, but you have to make it make sense for you. <laughs> I'll do the best I can. It's just and nothing's delivered properly. No. But you know he's a real person and he does talk to his kids. But he's like a robot. Yeah. Like, I will do the best I can. I will do the best I can. That is all it will be. He but it's like, these are your actual kids, just talk to them as if just you were talk talking to them. Like a real person. Like, they're, they're being alright, you're being <laughs> really weird. <laughs> looking at him like... Hey Dad. <laughs> hey Dad. Where's my Dad? <laughs> oh no. I mean, it's absolutely so easy for you to kill a man, and this man has no weapon, but you're going to jump across the roof instead of just um, murdering another man. But then we get to see more of Malta. Oh, what? Oh, what? Oh, he just fell off the roof! <laughs> <laughs> How did this man get to be that age? If every edge of a thing he doesn't see till the last minute and falls off. Don't film this. them, they're spies. She's a spy. Look at this, close up. Oh. She'd be filming right next to her face. Tell me more about the Black Eagle. Well, according to our ancestors, the Black Eagle is part of our heritage. He's like a sixth sense, the key to the part of our brain that seems looked away from us. Where do I get back home? Mathematics, here I come! What? We cannot call upon the Black Eagle for a petty occasion. So the Black the Eagle black is, is something that you can actually call upon. It's only for very serious things. Right. So is the Black Eagle what gives him his Kung Fu powers? Um, he's a fictional bird that helps A fictional him. bird that helps him <laughs> break people's necks in the street. Yeah. And is he responsible for tricking people into falling off buildings? <laughs> Has he called upon the Black Eagle yet, or have we not seen no, him? No, the Black Eagle lives within you, I think. And how do you, you get him out if you're definitely on the right <laughs> side? I love that they're trying to make Malta look like Monte Carlo, but then in the background it's just really cheap fruit machines. <laughs> and like a lino wall. Yeah, 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 lovely. That was such close range and you missed. As if, that was like two right metres away. Of JCVD is earning his fucking rep though. Look at his tiny little movements. <laughs> Why, Why are you crying? You take? I missed the shot at two meters. He's gonna try and get off with her. He'll probably succeed. She oh wants her lips. You're like ripping her hair out. <laughs> oh yeah. Why did you instantly go for the neck? <laughs> this is our first kiss. <laughs> oh, look. Just kiss her on the mouth. She's still We've got to go through that again. I'm scared. Don't panic. Clearly about to go in for a kiss. She licks her lips. She's ready for the kiss. No, he's, he's gone in for the neck. neck. Doesn't actually kiss her neck. She oh. licks her lips again, ready She's for a kiss. Ear, holding both ears. Goes for the kiss. And, and he skips, goes, goes down to her neck again. I reckon it was scripted that he was supposed to kiss her and he didn't and twice. And he was like... Do you reckon he had a missus or something? 
push. Maybe. It, like, why would you get ready to like act out a kiss and go, <laughs> and then he just goes for your neck. You push back. And he goes again. Okay. And he goes for your neck again. Because she's quite keen. She's like. And he's just like, no. <laughs> <laughs> and then once he's down there, his head just stays still. Like, he's not kissing Yeah, he's her. not nuzzling nothing. He's like. I don't reckon he was kissing her on the neck even. I reckon he just went. Will that do? No, really, no, really not. not. This is supposed to be clearly oh, like a really emotional scene and it's really not. It's Who's really going to go for a neck kiss? <laughs> An underwater of Navy demolition team, that's not a thing. He's got a third job. He's in the Navy. <laughs> So he's a priest who is in the Navy who's an oceanographer. No, 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 no. Touch the Navy. He's an underwater demolition expert, which isn't a thing. Must make it tough to be a priest, huh? Must make it tough to, to be, be a priest, huh? No. No, the inflection's wrong. We do it again. No. It must be tough to be a priest, huh? Must be tough to be a priest, huh? <laughs> Just reshoot it. Where's the director? This is why I think maybe he was like one of the producers or something. Mm -hmm. Because otherwise someone would have been like, no, that's the, the inflection. You know wrong. what? I bet it's got a similar story to the room. You know, where yeah, he was, he, he like, was right. Thing to and sing the theme to. I yeah. Um, wow, look what he's carrying. A oh, that's a glider, not a grenade. So the subtitles. The were subtitles. Wrong. Are the... I need a grenade. He didn't say grenade. He, he said, said glider. glider. Yeah. So you don't need a glider. Why just get a boat. Why don't you just walk there? He needs a glider so then get some aerial photography of, of Malta. A beautiful Malta. Yeah. I love this putting together a glider montage. <laughs> Name another putting together a glider montage. This Maltese glider was very easy to put together. <laughs> if only every glider was this easy to put together, but the only one that's been this easy is Maltese gliders. <laughs> Wouldn't this be a great place to go on a gliding holiday? <laughs> also, this glider's not inconspicuous. Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> <laughs> Not a dive either, he belly flopped into the sea. Uh, Ash Shah uh -huh. also went on to produce uh, Lionheart. More shockingly, he was the producer of the Hungover Games, which is the, the Hangover Hunger Games spoof. You know, like... Like Epic Movie or... Yeah, 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 okay. which is absolute Trash. garbage. Yeah. But then also, bizarrely, S. Darko, which is the Donnie Darko I've sequel. Heard, yeah, with his sister. Yeah, and does it even have Maggie Gyllenhaal in it? No. So he's not a good guy. <laughs> so this man is worried about him being underwater, and why is he worried about him being underwater? And why do they, these, so these guys are coming anyway, so he could have just been on the boat, or they could have done it at night. And they clearly seem to know exactly where it is, if he can. How is he taking off explosives with bare hands? I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, any missile experts, but would you be able to just remove it with your bare hands off of the ship? Yeah, I'm sure you'd need at least a tool. I feel like you can't just, like, twist and remove. <laughs> yeah. So you've been caught regardless. So what was the what, fucking what was the glider fucking for? Point? Oh, oh they're pushing his tummy! So uh, he's put on the... It's not being explained. It looks like one of those. It could um, be a tracker, it could be a bomb. It looks like the thing that my dad has in his fish tank that tells you what temperature and pH the water is. So it I probably, think it probably is. Six yeah. tattoo. What's that? Oh, the man with the sword. That's rad. <laughs> it looks like our shit tattoos. <laughs> Look at his wet suit. Oh, sick. Is it a uni tie? Yeah, it is. Oh. Oh, Push him in the face and stab that man in the stomach. Is this the black eagle coming out? Ken, this planet's bollocks. The main boat's still over there and just saw we blew up the little boat. Oh, also, yeah! they're so they're not that far away because they could just start shooting us from here. Yeah, I forgot that one. Look where they're they going. are, just start shooting us. They're them. beeping like, I'm gonna kill you now. Beep. <laughs> We're coming. Beep. Beep beep. Oh, this must be the historical tour. Oh no! See? He, he is, is a, a priest. priest! And he's an underwater Explosive expert, expert. Underwater demolition expert. Underwater that that demolition. famous job. And an oceanographer. The exact same <laughs> shot. That shot was perfect. Do it again. <laughs> I have a question. Yeah. So he's clearly not a priest in Malta because he came from a different place. Yeah, he came from the Vatican. So is he just moonlighting for a different Yeah, priest? so you can you turn up as a priest and be like, you're right? I'm a priest, can I run this service? Can I run this? Like, yeah, I guess so. It's like a gig venue. It's like, you're right, we're on tour, can we play the show here? <laughs> yeah, of course. He puts some flyers up, <laughs> flashes him in the face. That's yeah, a few I know, I inches saw it. From you. You're like a ghost. <laughs> I didn't know you were down there because I had to jump down the hole. When I got there, you instantly flashed a flashlight in my face. If I was directing this, 
the way to portray that would be for them to both go, ah, yeah, comedic yeah, that, timing, that would be, you know, be like, oh yeah, they didn't see each other, they didn't even feel it, no, but the fact that... But he didn't even say why, he was just like... He was just like, yes. <laughs> Man gets caught. Yeah. His response is, Dean Rickett sent me. Your response should be, he did? Listen to how he, he, fucking said he it. says it. Dean Rickett sent me. We good? <laughs> he did! He did! He did! <laughs> Correct! There was a white car in back of us. Too. In back of us? In back. There's a white car behind us. Do you reckon she, those are the lines she was giving? She was like, that makes any sense. Make sense. <laughs> That's what you have to say. Okay, there is a white car in back of us. I'll talk to Kim Benko. I'll do. Just say yes. I'll do. <laughs> <laughs> Drink. I'm gonna pack it and blow it. I'm gonna pack it and blow it. <laughs> oh, not that penis. Oh, no, he's showing me the dick. It's loaded. 100%. It's loaded 100%. Just say it's fully loaded. Here's a gun, it's loaded 100%. It's so obviously a tiny model shit. Look at the waves. <laughs> Such a little bird. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's reckon, the end. Yeah, they just went and had a hug. Oh, there was no sort of tie up as to who was who. No. Why did anybody die? No. What was going on? No. Was the okay, that was our full review out of ten. <sighs> Minus one. Minus one. Oh no, one for the split. I'm gonna give it three. I was entertained, yet I didn't know what was going on. Acting was like subpar, but there were some really beautiful shots of Malta. Made me want to go to Malta. And it made me want to go to Malta, so I'll give it three out of ten for that. Hopefully there will be more of these. Um, thank you so much for watching. My Instagram will be in the description below, as will Jack's. And uh, yeah, tune in next time. I'm sure there'll be something else coming up. Thanks so much, guys. See you later. See you next time. Bye. Bye.